Stop me if you've heard this one before. An upstart indie developer with a fresh idea grabs the attention of a captive crowdfunding audience and with the best of intentions makes promises indicating both a lavish set of stretch goals and a seemingly reasonable release date for his project. Funding goal is smashed, champagne corks are popped, and all is right in the world. Then the work of actually making the game gets underway and it ends up getting delayed by almost two years. I'll let you draw your own negative conclusions about Hyper Light Drifter from that quick little summary because that's really the only bad thing I can say about it. I've been following developer Heart Machine's post Kickstarter updates for almost a year now and I gotta say, while the communication could have been better, I'm really impressed with the progress of this game's development. And now seems like a good time to remind people that it is actually coming out. We just saw an update today that included a new trailer as well as a long-awaited release window, spring of next year. If you've done any digging on this young channel, you can probably gather that I have a strong affinity for a little game called Transistor. I also tend to perk my ears up anytime I hear mention of a title that seems to take its cues from it. Hyper Light Drifter is everything that makes indie games charming. At least, that's how it looks from these first impressions. So, add this to my ever-growing list of games that I'm planning to play and show to all of you. Despite the lengthy development time and, at times, deafening silence from Heart Machine, I just can't see myself being able to stay away from it. As always, to my wonderful viewers, I say this. Thank you for watching this video. Click subscribe if you want to see more of them, and take care, everyone.